Baton Rouge, Lafayette, and as the French know it, Nouvelle Orléans, New Orleans. American cities, all with very French names, all in the US state of Louisiana. It was René Robert Cavalier La Salle who in 1682 explored the Mississippi Basin, took possession of the territory in the name of King Louis XIV, and baptized it in his honor. French Louisiana at the start of the 18th century was enormous, stretching all the way from the Great Lakes to the Gulf of Mexico. But gradually, the territory was eroded. The French ceded western Louisiana to Spain and the Canadian region to Great Britain. Many of the French speakers, though, living in the northern region known as Acadia, moved south into present-day Louisiana, where they carried the name of Acadians, or just Cajuns, with them. The gradual dissolving of the French territory really completed in 1803, as Napoleon Bonaparte sold Louisiana to the fledgling United States to $5 million, plus $10 million for New Orleans itself. The immigration, though, of French speakers to the region continued, notably from the West Indies and the Caribbean, many of them farmers accompanied by their slaves. But despite the importance of the French-speaking community in the state, in 1916 it was prohibited to use French in schools. And in 1921, the Louisiana Constitution only authorised the use of the English language. The Cajuns became more and more isolated. Well, a century later, they still represent almost 10% of the population of Louisiana. Even though the use of French continues to diminish from generation to generation, they remain those fighting to preserve the language and the tradition. Well, Fanny Allard revisits Cajun country for France 24. Louisiana. The region is a mix of influences. French, Acadian, Indian, Creole, with one thing in common, the French language. Near Lafayette, in the southern part of the state, some still speak a form of French, Cajun French, named after those who settled in the region three centuries ago. J'ai trouvé un grand groupe de mouches à miel là-dedans. Un grand bihave avec les big honeycombs, c'est cool. Jourdan Thibodeau is Louisiana born and bred. He built this farm near the bayou more than 10 years ago. He lives there with his wife and daughters, just a few miles away from his parents. Il y a une chanson. La valse d'héritage. Il dit, euh, j'ai dit qu'Adjien, quand j'étais né, il sera qu'Adjien, quand je vais mourir. Quand j'étais petit, j'ai fait mon idée, un jour, quand je suis grand, j'aurai une femme. J'aurai des vaches et des moutons et tout ça. With hard work, Thibodeau made his childhood dream a reality. The American dream with a Cajun twist. He was brought up by a grandmother who taught him French and now calls his fellow U.S. citizens the Americans. Il y a des jeunes qui veulent d'être plus et plus comme les Américains. Mexicains sont traités à ce terre. C'était comme ça pour nos parents. Et euh, c'est pour ça qu'il a essayé d'être, you know, et a oublié entre les, entre les traditions et la langue. Et... Thibodeau is a bayou cowboy. When he isn't hunting alligators, he looks after his cattle and rides horses far away from the big city. Keeping traditions alive is his way of protecting his heritage. Pour moi, c'est juste de continuer d'être comme mon grand-père était, comme mon grand-mère était. C'est juste. Vive la vie, vive la couture. Je vais continuer les mêmes manières avec mon petite femme. Je vais parler ma langue avec mes enfants. On va prier tous les soirs. Je vais pas aller, euh, you know, 10,000 miles d'ici pour manger des Burger King. You know, des McDonald's, c'est rien à moi. <laughs> you know. Back in the day, southern Louisiana was mostly French-speaking. The Cajuns are descendants of the Acadians 
a Canadian French people who were chased out by the British during the 18th century and settled thousands of miles down the Mississippi River in the marshlands of Louisiana, known as the Bayou. Norbert Leblanc is a descendant of those Acadians. Just like his forefathers who settled in Louisiana more than 300 years ago, the 85-year-old has lived here his whole life. Mon papa est né ici, ma maman est née ici. Moi, j'ai tout le temps fait une vie sur le bayou, une salle. J'ai coupé des cônes à la main pour mettre du sur wagon avec mon grand-papa. Longtemps passé, donc, c'est pas, pas hier. <laughs> Leblanc knows every inch of this river. He still goes fishing every week, and until a few years ago, he was still hunting the king of the bayou, the alligator. Leblanc learned French at home, but doesn't use it much these days. When he was a child, his teachers forbid him from speaking it at school. Quand j'ai premier commencé, c'est en français, puis là, après ça, le premier grade, ça, ils ont, t'as pas moyen de parler français ici, si le gouvernement dit « no French ». C'était dur, euh, parce que, tu vois, ils ont eu pour parler long, commencer à parler l'anglais, et c'était pas quelque chose qui était vaillant ici, l'anglais. In 1921, Louisiana authorities launched a massive campaign to Americanize the local population. The state constitution banned the use of French in schools. That's when the Cajuns started being stigmatized. The jeune monde aujourd'hui, c'est juste l'anglais. C'est moi le vieux monde. <laughs> like many Cajuns of his generation, Leblanc did not teach his children to speak French. In Louisiana, boomers are known as the lost generation. Those who did not learn French, like Francis Pavie. He's a painter, born in Lafayette to French-speaking parents, but he only speaks English. The French culture is very important to South Louisiana, New Orleans, here because of the Acadian culture. My mother was a Wagaspak, people that came from alsace lorraine in the 1720s. When she was about I guess six or seven, she had to go to school, of course, like, and uh, they prevented her from speaking French. They got extra work or, you know, had to stay after school or write lines or things like that. Cajun children were often punished by their teachers for speaking French, slowly abandoning the language and with it a fundamental part of their identity. With his paintings, Pavi celebrates the history and culture of Louisiana. He may not speak French, but he uses his art to express his Cajun culture. We grew up primarily speaking English. You know, they taught us English at school, and most of the television and, and media that we listened to, the radio, was English. I really do regret the fact that I didn't take advantage of uh, learning French as a child, but I didn't know any better. You know, uh, um, all my friends spoke English. In the southern part of the state, the names found in cemeteries are proof of the long-running French influence. Champagne, Broussard, or Thibodeau, those Catholic families never left Louisiana, where they had settled in exile. Thibodeau has been working in the meat industry since he was 14 years old. Now he owns a company that makes boudin and tasso, both local delicacies. They got some in the mixer right now? Pork, crayfish, alligator, in Cajun country, food is sacred and also reflects the history of its people. The monde croit que c'était seulement une qualité du monde qui a fait ça, mais c'était pas. Tu vois, le boudin a venu de les Français, mais ça a changé quand il est arrivé 
et comment se cuire avec les Indiens. Aussi les Africains, venus avec les autres ingrédients. Et pour ça, c'est si bon. Parce que tu ne peux pas dire le meilleur si tu es seulement une chose. You know, tu as besoin de la différence ensemble. The 35-year-old is active in his defense of Cajun culture, and his heritage is present all the way to the kitchen. Les recipes et euh, tout ça, c'est la vieille manière. On n'a jamais changé rien. C'est la même, la même recipe que nos grands-parents ont fait. Si je vais commencer quelque chose de nouveau, ce n'est pas la même couture, c'est une couture nouveau. C'était bon déjà. Tu n'as pas besoin de changer quelque chose qui est bon. The 1960s saw a movement aimed at rehabilitating French at a time when the language seemed to be dying out. At the time, schools started special French-English programs helping a new generation learn their ancestors' language. Will McGrew and Drake Leblanc may not have French-sounding names, but two years ago, they launched Télé Louisiane, the first French-speaking broadcast media in the region. In Louisiane, we are very connected with our history, our literature, our heritage, which is much more rich than what we think. And we try to show the Louisiana here, in Louisiana, but also in the diaspora, all over the United States and in the world, that we have to be proud of our Louisiana, of our music, of our culture, of our language. Eighteen employees now work together on a weekly show built around one specific theme. That week, the show was focusing on Creoles of color, and the team was filming in the French Quarter of New Orleans. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire créole en Louisiane? Créole, c'est compliqué. Ça veut dire beaucoup de choses pour beaucoup de gens. Mais le terme, c'est d'origine portugaise et ça voulait dire autrefois né au Nouveau Monde. With more than 260,000 views this year, Daily Louisiane is hoping to soon make it on TV. McGrew and Leblanc believe they, the youth of Louisiana, are the future of the French language. On n'a pas une histoire du le français c'est quelque chose de folklorique, c'est quelque chose de très négatif en fait. Ça, ça a été le récit, ça a été le stéréotype. Uh, mais à ce on n'a pas une, une, une mémoire pour ça. Pour nous autres, le français c'est ça. Le français c'est notre culture. Si on veut que ça continue d'être la Louisiane, il faut vraiment investir dans la musique, la culture, la langue et toutes les autres choses qui nous, nous font différent uh, et, et spécial, je crois. Je noir, blanc. Native, n'importe quoi, je suis Louisiane. Je suis Louisiane, oui. Et on doit apporter ça avec cette perspective chaque jour qu'on réveille. Eating, praying, and working. Being a Cajun is a lifestyle that is passed down from generation to generation through oral tradition and music. Thibodeau learned to play the violin on his own without music sheets, just by listening to his elders. As a child, he would follow his mother to concerts. Now, he sings with his daughter. Mon papa a toujours dit que on est la dernière personne qui parle anglais dans la Louisiane. I mean, qui parle français dans la Louisiane. C'est une vraiment important euh, langue pour nous. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Au cours long des entrevues, et quand les rigodins ont entendu ça, joli rigodin, il faut danser. Du whisky pour boire, comment voulez-vous rester chez vous quand les filles sont si belles? Au Bilafia, <rire> cher bonjour. La musique a aidé avec un tas de les jeunes qui parlent français. Et après, un, un tas de la, la musique. Et aussi, euh, c'est juste une grande chose que tu ne peux, peux pas refuser. C'est dread là. Et c'est dans ton cœur. Moi, j'ai fait mon idée que je vais chanter en français parce que il y a assez de monde qui chante en anglais. C'est assez. 
les vieilles chansons que j'aime, et c'est tout en français, et ça sent, ça sent mieux. Thibaudot decided to raise his daughters in French, despite the overwhelming presence of American culture. Moi, je suis fier d'être ici. Si ça va pas comme je veux, avec les autres, avec la prochaine génération, ça sera pas mon faute. Moi, j'ai fait mon job. J'ai continué avec mes enfants. Et quand même, ils sont la dernière. C'était pas moi qui étais la dernière. C'est mon responsabilité. Ça va pas mourir avec moi. Et chaque fois que j'entends mes filles préparer le français, quelque chose, ça me fait fier. Mais je crois que le plus important, c'est la langue. Que sans ça, on n'a rien. 40 years ago, there were just about 100,000 French speakers in Louisiana. Today, that number is around 250,000. Those French speakers see themselves as a special people, citizens of the United States, but also custodians of an endangered identity they vow to protect. Fanny Allah revisiting Cajun country for France 24. Well, that's all from this week's edition. Of course, you can cash it and all the previous editions as well on our website. You'll find it at france24.com. Thanks for watching. More news coming up very shortly.